Hey everyone, it's Danny here, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to change a thermostat on a true prep cooler here. Right now, we are working on this prep cooler, and we are about to change the thermostat on it. So I just bought the new one earlier this morning, and now we are just getting ready to install it. So here's the new one. Let's say, hold on, A12700. So the first thing you want to do is take out all the inserts on the top and all the shelving inside the cooler because the whole point is that we want to take this apart. We want to take this little shield off so we can get access to the two wires over here. Hold on, let me change the camera view. So I have now taken out all the screws for the shield and now I'm just going to pull it out but you may notice that whenever you take these little sheet, these shields out it's going to hit the, the bracket for the shelving. So what you want to do is just take out one side one set of the brackets here, and then the shield should come out easily. If not, if, it's if you still have a hard time, you can just open up the other shield on the other end, the one closest to the shield, and you're set. But then it would slide out even better. But usually you can just do it, you can get away with just doing one of them. So now, There you go. Now that's out of the way. And now we can go ahead and attach our new thermostat to our system after we have taken out the old one. So now I'm going to go ahead and take out the old one. This can be very tricky to do because I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a small little that this sensor goes into. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right behind that, this pipe, right here. So you want to push it all the way out. And here's your old thermostat. And here's the new one. Now I'm going to put the new one in. I prefer to always put the sensor in before I mount the thermostat itself. Just because, believe it or not, I think the hardest part is putting the sensor back into that small pipe. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Now that we are done uh, with mounting the thermostat, we can go ahead and put everything back together now. Now that I have finished uh, mounting the thermostat, I'm going to go ahead and I'll start and test if the thermostat works that I just installed, the new one that I just installed. So let's go ahead. Here we are at the back of the unit. Right now, the thermostat is on the offsetting. Pressure and condenser fan. Don't know if you guys can see, but it's not working right now. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn my thermostat. It's on the off right now, as you guys can see. Now it's gone back, back in the unit. 
filter is working and the condenser fan. So now we are good to go with putting everything back together now. So we're gonna do that now. down here putting the last screws in. There's four screws for them. Together and reassemble and now just before I leave what I'm gonna do is cover up the top here and then just see at what temperature the thermostat cuts out at. So now I have fished my sensor with my thermostat all the way through the evaporator as much as I can put it through. 
then I put my two leads to my thermostat right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and now mount my thermostat on the sh protective shield. And then once we're done that, we can go ahead and test the system before we put everything back together. So yeah, the whole point of uh, emptying everything out is so we can take this little shield off and get access to behind the thermostat where the two wires are coming out from. So I'm going to do that now and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so the prep cooler has gone down in temperature and now I'm just packed up all my tools and I'm ready, ready to go to my next service store. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Peace!